just an indicator of your expectation. Are you ready? One, two, three. Let's give him praise right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Is Pastor Christian here? Come here, Pastor Christian. Why don't you tell about what happened Wednesday night? How many of y'all glad to see Gen Z getting in revival? Come on. So Wednesday night we came together for a service, and uh, from the jump, the atmosphere of God's presence was in the room. The, like, it was absolutely filled with freedom. Uh, the Holy Spirit spoke to us. We ministered on where we are as a generation, what God is doing in Generation Z. And he invited the entire room into friendship with the Holy Spirit. And we began to uh, pray for young people. They were baptized in the Holy Spirit, speaking in other tongues. The power of God filled the room. Come on now. Come on. And in a moment, the Holy Spirit spoke to us, and he said, do a fire tunnel. And so we set our leaders up for a fire tunnel. And when I tell you, the moment we gave ourselves to that, the entire youth and young adult sanctuary was caught up in a swirl of the fiery presence of God. Listen, there were kids crawling through the fire tunnel, getting dragged through the fire tunnel. The fire of God was all over them. There was literally a place in the center of our sanctuary where I don't know if it was an angel. I don't know if it was just the manifested glory of God. But when people would try to walk through it, it looked like they got plugged into the power of heaven and they just blew back. Nobody was laying hands on them. The power of God was just that present. And we believe that that same type of anointing, presence, and power is going to rush into this room tonight. Are you ready for that? Come on, can you lift your hands towards heaven and give God a shout of praise? Do it tonight, Lord, in Jesus' name. We want to share. We're getting reports of miracles from all over. How many of you believe miracles are in the room tonight? Come on. So our last service, for those of you who are here and you remember, we called out a man named Euless. I don't know if you remember that. But he was having brain surgery. And they had, they were not giving him a great diagnosis. So anyway, his sister-in-law texted me today and she said, I wanted to give you an update. My brother-in-law, Euless, had the surgery last Thursday and was home in 48 hours after the brain surgery. She said, only God. The tumor was completely removed and he is doing well. Then God turned around and healed my uncle on Friday from lung cancer. They thought they were doing, going to have to remove part of his lung. Once they got in there, there was nothing in the lung. They removed a small mass from outside his lung and he came home the same day. He is a good, good father. So I just wanted to encourage you in your praying tonight. That if we call to pray for someone that's online or in this place, release your faith. God is answering prayer. Amen. Well, how many of you believe you're sitting on the miracle road tonight? Anybody? Come on, John. Let's lift up the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody lift up a shout of prayer.
celebrate what the Lord has done. Come on. Celebrate, celebrate. Celebrate, celebrate. Hey. Yeah. Jesus did. 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 It looked impossible. Jesus did. Jesus did. But Jesus did. Jesus did. Jesus did. Jesus did. Jesus did. Jesus did. Come on. Jesus did.
and those two ladies came forward. This was one of them. Some of you were here that night. And she said stage four cancer. And I remember saying we didn't start with a neck ache. We didn't start with a sore ankle. We started at the top believing there wasn't one thing that God could not heal and that God could not do. But I hear the Lord say that I am in this room tonight. That I am a, I'm, I'm in your room tonight if you're watching by live stream. And I'm able to do exceedingly abundantly far above you what you can ask or think. So I want somebody right now who believes that the same God who touched this lady can move on every situation in your life. I want you to open your mouth and give him a radical praise. I said give him a radical praise. He's in the room. I want you to testify to everybody in your neighborhood and say Jesus did it. And then holler at him and say he's about to do it again. Give the Lord a praise in here.
He's the lamb who was slain, his blood overcame. Let heaven and earth give him praise.
I felt this for you earlier today. I watched a video of you leading worship last night and the hair stood up, not on my head, but <laughs> I felt this for you last night. I felt like the Lord said, I'm sorry, this uh, today, this morning, I felt like the Lord said, this last season, you weren't lost, you were hidden. He said, you weren't forgotten. You were covered. And he said, in this next season, out of your belly shall flow, like never before, rivers of living water. You weren't lost. You were hidden. And God says, while you were hidden, I was doing something in you. And he said, what I was doing in you in that season I'm going to do through you in this next season. So I release a fresh anointing over you now, Channing Rayleigh. The anointing for prophetic worship come upon her. The anointing to sing and demons flee. The anointing to unlock atmospheres. The anointing to unlock heaven over the lives of the broken over the lives of the weary and heaven will rush in every time you declare it heaven will rush in i declare it now 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 come on
to dry bones. I hear the echo, the sound of heaven's song. Your spirit's calling me. I know it's time to go. I can't stay here anymore. stay asleep to how you're moving I can't stay complacent anymore I can't stay my heart is full of longing I can't stay to dry bones I hear the echo the sound of heaven's song your spirit's calling me I know it's time to go I can't stay here anymore
Moses stood on the mountain Waiting for you to pass by To put your hand over his face So in your presence he wouldn't die All of his right shines down through the age Now you've called me to boldly seek your face So show me your face Lord Show me
your power and grace, I can make it to the end, if I could just see your eyes. Oh, show me your face, Lord, show me your
everybody raise your hands and sing it again to see you high. in the Lord, why don't you raise your voice and say, holy, 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 my faith is in you, Lord, holy, 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 you are crowned with glory and honor, holy, 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 I want to see you, I want to see you, come on, children, Sing it again, holy, 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 holy. Holy, holy, holy. Oh, we worship you, Lord. Holy, holy, holy. You're the captain of our salvation. We bless you, name. Holy, holy, holy. I want to see you. So I was standing there back and just caught up in the presence of the Lord and I felt like the Lord said we have moved beyond playing we've moved beyond singing and he said now we are hosting heaven said that to Pastor Josh and I said man the angels there's a host of heaven in this room Pastor Josh said angels ascending and descending I feel it right now heaven is in this room and if heaven gets in the room everything that heaven has gets in the room come on now and the Lord brought me to Hebrews 1 14 are not all angels are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for those who are inheriting or who will inherit salvation in this room tonight ministering angels the host of heaven. There is a world that is more real than this natural world could ever think of being. It pre-existed this world that we live in right now and that world has invaded this world. And all the power that's in that world has come right into this world. So I want us right now, Pastor Christian is going to bring a word in a moment. God's given him a, a word of knowledge or a word of wisdom. Whatever the Lord has given him, we want him to, to flow in that. But we're going to lay hands on people in the next few minutes. But right now, I want you to see that there is a host of heaven in here. And I want you to raise up your hearts and your hands and your lives, whatever you want to do before the Lord. And I believe that ministering angels are going to come to you right now. They're going to strengthen you. They're going to touch you. They're going to minister to you. The Bible said that the Lord will give his angels charge over you. There are angels in this room. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. I feel it. The Lord said people watching by live stream, there are angels coming into your house right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I feel like even as angels are coming in, demonic spirits are moving out because they don't cohabitate. I hear you, Lord. 
the Lord said, tell them that the angels of God are not going to share space with demonic forces and atmospheres of worship. That right now, demonic forces of rebellion are being chased out of people's homes right now. Demonic forces are being, of depression are being just chased out right now. I want you to raise your hand in this time and begin to worship the Lord and let, let the angels minister to you. Let heaven get in this place and minister to you. You say, Apostle, what if it's not real? What if it is? What if heaven is in this room right now? What if that same power that healed this sweet lady with stage four cancer and caused her blood tests and all of her, 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 everything about her to come, all her levels to come back normal. That power is in this room tonight, but you got to engage it now. You got to engage it. We're going to lay hands on people in a few minutes, but I want you just to go a little bit deeper. I want you to go a little bit deeper. Come on. I want you to press a little bit harder. Come on, I want you to press a little bit deeper. I want you to go a little bit deeper. Hallelujah, angels are in the room. They're ascending and descending. They're ministering to you right now. They're in your home right now. Come on, John. Heaven is in the room. Heaven is in the room. Heaven is here tonight. Heaven is here tonight. Heaven is here tonight. Heaven is here tonight.
about the wind of the Spirit, and Pastor Courtney was talking about we are ready to yield to you, and we got into that super sensitive moment where the Spirit of the Lord was moving and breathing. I, I felt the Lord say to me, and I share this with the Apostle, that in this season, this house is mantled for the miraculous. That there are signs, wonders, and miracles that are happening as an expression of us actually hosting the kingdom of heaven, the manifestation of his world in the midst of ours. And there was one thing that the Lord showed me, and I asked Apostle about it, and he asked me to share. And I just felt, as we were singing about the breath of God, and as we were singing about the wind of the Spirit, and the angels of God ascending and descending, in worship, what I saw as we were speaking about miracles and the wind of the Spirit, I felt like I saw someone, I, I didn't feel it, I actually saw it, there's someone, whether you're watching by way of live stream or you're in this room, and I saw that you have an issue in your right lung in the top upper right portion. Is that anyone in this room? Right lung, upper right portion. Maybe you're watching online. I see it. It's almost like there's, there's an issue in the upper right lung. Is that anyone in this room? Wave, wave at me if that's you. Maybe you're watching by way of live stream in that particular moment. But can we just believe for that? I know the Lord showed that to me. I know that I know he showed that to me. Father, in the name of Jesus, we release healing and wholeness now. Healing and wholeness now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And this one... Um, ma'am right here in front of me right here holding your hands like this right here in this section right in front of you sir in the red shirt in front of you in front of you sir right here yes you right there yep can you raise your hands I want to pray for you beside you to your left to your left yes yes you yes can you lift your hands the spirit of the Lord is about to come upon you right now and he is about to breathe afresh on you I turned around during the worship set and the Holy Spirit, I saw the Spirit of God all over you. And I feel like in this last season of your life, your spirit has been stagnant. That you have been trying to seek the Lord in a fresh and new way, but you feel almost stagnant and stuck in your inner being. And I sense that the Lord is going to come and breathe upon you right now. And He's going to make Himself very real to you, that He's even breathing upon you right now. I see the Spirit of God coming on you. And that he is refreshing your walk with him. And I want you to, I want you to do something because, because I, I'm, I, I, it, it's very sensitive. I want you to get out of your seat, ma'am. I want you to come. There's a, there's, I just, just come quickly. This is your moment. And then we're going to give it to a apostle. We're going to minister and lay hands on people. But here's what I want you to do. I want you to come and stand about right there. Stop right there. Lift your hands. Holy Spirit. I pray, breathe on her now. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that it's not the touch of a man, but it's the breath of God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This is your moment. He's breathing on you right now. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just breathe it in. Just breathe it in. 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 Thank you, Holy Spirit, that out of, your, out of her belly is going to flow rivers of living water in this new season. Just breathe it in. Breathe it in. That's the breath of God. That's the breath of God. Just breathe it in. I don't know why he had you stop right there. I can't explain this. He's not obligated to tell me why, but we are obligated to obey the revelation he's given. So I thank you that peace is filling your life right now from the top of your head to the soles of your feet, the peace of God. I thank you that angels are ministering to you right now in just the way you need. Thank you for it in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Come on and praise and sing, son. We are Somebody slip up your hands and sing it now. On holy ground. And I know. And I know that there are angels all around. Let us praise Jesus now. Standing in his 
His presence. We are standing in His presence on holy ground. Sing it again. We are standing. Atmosphere of angels, come on. And I know that there are angels all around. Let us praise Jesus now. you to get in position right here. We're going to start praying for people in just a moment. We're going to have something called a prayer tunnel or a fire tunnel. Uh, when I used to do youth camp, we called it a Holy Ghost car wash. That means whatever is on you that needs to get washed off, it's going to get washed off in this prayer tunnel, this fire tunnel. Hey, it'll get washed off. It'll get burned off. It'll get knocked off. Come on. There's healing in this prayer tunnel. I said, there's going to be healing in this prayer tunnel. I got 12 of you that believe it. I said, there's about to be healing in this prayer tunnel. <laughs> Woo, I feel that. I said, there's about to be healing in this prayer tunnel. There's about to be deliverance in this prayer tunnel. There's about to be joy in this prayer tunnel. So, Here's what we're going to do. We're gonna, th these guys right here, we've already got the people established who are gonna help us in the prayer tunnel. And we want you to come right through and we're gonna lay hands on you. And I'm telling you that God is about to do a thing. How many of you have ever been through a prayer tunnel before? How many of you have never been through? I've never been through one apostle. Tonight is your night. It's going to be powerful. Now, we're going to lay hands on you. We're going to have our collective agreement, and God is going to move. So what we're going to ask you to do is you come through the prayer tunnel. Don't rush out. We're going to ask you to go right back into your area, and let's fill this place with worship. Listen, it's Friday night. The bikers are going to be out till 3 o'clock in the morning. Come on, somebody. Riding by your house wide open. How many of you can say we can allow God to do whatever he wants to do tonight? If you're ready for that, make a little noise in the room right now. So I'm going to lay hands on each one of these. And then we're going to start. We're going to do a section at the time. So all these young people will get to come first. Then this section, then this section, and then this section, and this section. And guess what? We saved these two sections. We saved the best for last. Come on, somebody. But just as soon as a section comes through, you go ahead and get yourself in position to come. We'll have somebody help uh, just guide this and direct traffic. But we are about to have an outpouring of healing, signs, wonders, breakthrough. This is revival. Who's ready for what God wants to do in this moment? All right. I'm going to lay hands on these, John. You worship the Lord.
thrill. Come with hands lifted high. Come with anticipation and expectation for what God's about to do. He's about to touch you. Come, come expect it. I know.
magnify him. May the fire on the altar never go out. May the fire on the altar. May the fire on my altar. as you play, as you direct this band, I release over you a glory and a power and a fire. Everything the enemy tried to do to you to assassinate your assignment has been turned on him. And now you are stepping into a new season of prophecy, of power and fire. Somebody say, may the fire on my altar Never go out. Somebody. Ministry. 
I release over you, drummer of God, that you will walk in the cadence of the Holy Ghost, that you will walk in the rhythm of the Spirit, and I call power over you in the name of Jesus. Somebody say, may the fire on my altar the Lord in here right now however you got to bless him if you got to shout shout if you got to clap clap if you got whatever you got to do somebody bless the Lord in here right now shall take off his garments and put on other garments and carry the ashes outside the camp to a clean place and the fire on the altar shall be kept burning on it it shall never go out Leviticus 6 and the priest shall burn wood on it every morning and labor a burnt offering on it and he shall burn on it the fat of the offerings. A fire shall always be burning on the altar. It shall never go out. In that moment, what had happened, God had sent a fire and Remember, I've taught you about the wilderness tabernacle. 
fire came and dropped over top of the mercy seat, came out from the Holy of Holies, came all the way out to the brazen altar, set that altar on fire. And the instruction was this, God said a fire shall always be burning on that altar. He said, I'll light it for you. He said to the priest, I'm going to light it the first time. But it's up to you to keep that fire burning. He said the hungry priest are going to be the ones that will keep the fire burning. Well, you say, well, apostle, that doesn't mean me because I'm not a priest. I beg to differ. Peter said, you are a chosen generation. A royal what? Priesthood. And you know who tends the fire? You do. I wonder if there's anybody that has received a fresh fire. And in Jesus' name, you ain't going to let it go out. I, I want... I want to hear from some fire people. I, I want to hear from some. I want to hear from the fire people right now. Oh, I want to hear from the fire people right now. We are a fire church. Our worship is fire. Our praise is fire. Our preaching is fire. Our campuses are fire. And in Jesus' name, this fire will never go out until Jesus comes back. It will never. Say it, may the fire on the altar never go out. Sing it. Make me a house of prayer. May the fire on my altar never burn. May the fire on my altar never burn.
feel like the Lord said, just fill this house with gratitude right now. Somebody feel it with gratitude right now. Y'all, we're we, we going to take just about the next few minutes. And now we're just going to fill this place with gratitude. Come on. We're going to worship the Lord. I want you right now to just get lost in the presence of God for this next few minutes. How many of you say, Apostle, I've been needing just what God's been doing in this place. Somebody slip up your hands right now. Would you mind doing that? Do you mind? Do you mind lifting holy hands? At the end of the day, don't do it because I told you to. Do it because you're just thankful tonight. Whew. Sing it, Cora. There's a king in this room. Let us behold him now. Isn't he beautiful? So beautiful.
church and on our campuses it's way beyond a man it's been supernatural one thing that I've learned you know after doing this for so long soul apostle has learned some real important truths and and one of the truths that I've learned is that atmosphere is important and you know even when you sow a natural seed you sow it at the right time in the right atmosphere because you know the harvest that you want to receive. And I would, I would miss it if I didn't take this opportunity to give people an opportunity to sow in this atmosphere. I'm going to tell you that God is, God is moving in a way. We've been here 26 years. I've never seen it quite like this before. It's supernatural. And I'm just believing in faith that this fire on the altar is going to never go out. How many of you like to keep a fire in, on our campuses until Jesus comes? So tonight, if, if you want to, I want to invite you to sow into this atmosphere. You by live stream, you can sow and give and help us just continue to have this revival. Y'all just go ahead and bring the buckets up here. We want to we wanna keep this revival going. How many of y'all want to keep this revival going? We're going we're gonna to meet again on Sunday night. We're going to have great service this Sunday. Hey, don't forget that you need to spring ahead. What does that mean? That means, you know, it's that time change that's not of God. It really isn't. But if you'll spring ahead, we want to see you here or on campuses. Everybody's standing if you're able. I know we've stood a lot tonight. But man, it's, this has been one of those nights, hadn't it? I want if you if you want to sow and give if you'll just mark it special. There's not the, there's nothing much more special than revival, and if you'll mark it special, I believe God's gonna gonna bless you as you give. You may feel led to give significantly. Don't let's sow a seed tonight into revival. You by live stream, you can give online. You can text to give. You can give in an envelope. You can give on the app you want to hold up your phones or your offerings, however, however you want to give tonight, you by live stream, just pick your television up and hope, no, I'm kidding. However you're giving and I, we want to pray over you. Pastor Dom, did you come and pray over this all, offering tonight? I, I told Pastor Dom, I, it's, it's pretty dangerous with Pastor Dom and Pastor Josh in a fire tunnel. Because in the middle of the fire tunnel, they disappear. Because they have, they have a tendency to fall out in the Holy Ghost themselves. And I'm sitting there praying for people and Dawn's beside of me. And all of a sudden, I knew the rapture hadn't took place. She, she It was strong, wasn't it? It was powerful. All right, babe. He's thankful for the glory. Amen. I want it to just sit on me when I leave this place tonight. How about you? Amen. Will you hold those offerings up to the Lord? Father, we thank you for what you're doing in this place and what you're doing in us. And Lord, even tonight as I saw an American flag waving at one point in my mind, I pray revival over our nation. 
I pray that every house that names the name of Jesus will become a house of prayer and a house of fire and a house of revival. God, I pray that you would turn all eyes on this nation to you. All eyes in Washington, all eyes in New York, all eyes in California, all eyes in Hollywood. We ask you, Lord, to turn all eyes in Tallahassee, all eyes on our in our state, and all eyes in this nation, God, that you would release such an awakening, God, that there would be a mighty revival, a harvest. Father, we pray for the harvest. And tonight, Lord, even as we sow in this place, we do it, Lord, as an act of worship to say thank you. Thank you for breathing on us and for releasing your glory and presence in such a way over us, God. We thank you so much. And we pray that your blessing would be upon your people tonight as they go. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Come on and let's give. You want to give the Lord a clap? Don't just patty cake, just really clap. Every eye is on you, Jesus. Hey, I love you. Can't wait to see you Sunday. We'll do it again Sunday night. God bless you.